Jason Murphy. Yes. You ever get emails forwarded to you with helpful advice? Not anymore because I blocked all of them. Include, that's why you never respond to me now. <laughs> exactly. The modern road cuts yeah. jars with oil and fire. <laughs> so this is one of those that's been circulating. I saw it online and I thought, there's no way. It was overly simplistic and I still question whether or not it works on the timeline that it shows in the video. We're gonna be cutting the glass without actually cutting the glass? Well, okay, so here's the thing. I would have called this total BS, except for I got to go work with a, a, a glazier. One of the things they do is they use heat discrepancy to stress the glass on just the right part. So when they bang it, it breaks on one clear thin line. Theoretically, there's no reason this shouldn't work, which is why as much as it looks like BS, I think it. I think this will actually work. I saw a bunch of threads on Reddit and so forth where people tried it mm -hmm. and they could not get it to work. So, oh, so it's a challenge now. I think so. I've already got my game face on, bro. Let's go. Okay, so according to the video, our intended outcome is to transform this mason jar into a tumbler glass, right? Sure. You could fill the bowl with water up to the line that you want to crack it at, or you could do it from the inside, right? Correct. But the important ingredient is that you add something that has a much, much higher boiling point than water. So in this case, uh, corn oil is going to boil at, what, 475, I yes. think? All the oils will boil at different temperatures, but since the water will never get hotter than 212 Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius, the oil can get very, very hot. You'll have a very precise band of thermal discrepancy where it stresses the glass and hopefully shatters it. Right? Exactly. My suspicion is that less is more. I, I assume that we want as thin a band as possible okay. on that corn oil. You gotta make sure it's touching all of the sides or this one will not work. How do we heat just the oil? Well, I guess. that's why you would have more in there. Now we want to get the metal red hot, and I hope it doesn't start heating up the tongs. No, I think, yeah, I'm sure you'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right, boss. What happens when you dip it down into the water? Oh yeah, yeah. So so the water evaporates, keeping itself at 100 degrees centigrade, and the oil's getting hotter and hotter. Let's heat it up again. Okay, let's try it again. So you're only dipping it in the oil. You're trying to avoid getting it into the into the water. Yeah, you can hear that difference. All right, give it a try. Maybe we need something with more metal mass so that mm, it can yeah. transfer more heat. So these are chunks of iron, and I'm figuring since there's more volume in there, it should retain more heat, right? Seems reasonable. It's like we're making a meteorite upon re-entry. It takes a lot longer for this to heat up. I think yeah. this is a bigger reservoir of heat energy for sure. All right, time to call it? Yeah. All right, just keep it gentle, gentle. You got this. Whoa. Now, when I saw glass workers deal with this, they would give it a tap and it would break along that. I wonder if... Yeah, it's not working. Okay, uh... Um... Yeah, the oil's hot enough now that you are igniting it, which is Ow. problematic. Um, okay, uh... That burned. <laughs> hey, why are you not wearing gloves? We should know. both wear, go get the yeah. big green gloves. <laughs> That'll be good. And you could definitely tell the difference between when it's in the oil and when it's in the water, right? Yeah. So in the in the video, do they immerse it down into the water part? I don't think so. Okay. Jesus. You all right? This is a dumb hack. <laughs> this is a bad idea. This is why your bacon screams at you and 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 throws oil in your face. So you said there was a bunch of different videos, and some of them had the oil on the inside, some had the oil on the outside. You want to try on the outside? Yeah, we certainly can. We can just pour that just directly into here and then put the glass in. All right, I'm gonna put the cooled glass in there now. All right. There we go. Oh, this is interesting, because we'll have the water on the inside that will be a kind of leverage against the heat of the oil on the outside. Mm -hmm. I'm not debunking this right now, but I'm not thinking this is gonna work. All right, let's go for that. You ready? Yeah, don't get it in the water. There you go. Okay. That's definitely just vegetable oil catching fire. It's fine. 
I'm I'm a little bit not oh uh... <laughs> a little nervous. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Now there's no flame. I'm beginning to doubt your commitment to internet science. All right. I mean, you can't deny it looks cool. Sounds cool. <laughs> yeah. You also can't deny that you're playing with a giant grease fire with water, which is pretty much the worst way to muck around and cut up a glass. It smells like when I had a deep fryer in college. I bet those were good days. <laughs> They're pretty great. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe, maybe that mason jar is just too thick. So we got a much, much thinner shot glass here. Okay. This is about the most generous interpretation I think we can give. Super thin glass, super small amount of oil. So theoretically, the oil should get super hot. I really want this to work. I do too. The space razor blade comes rushing to planet Earth, intent on cutting all your cocaine. <laughs> what? None of your cocaine is safe from Space Razor Blade. There's no like magic other step that we were supposed to do? I don't think so. I'm like sincerely I'm a little pissed. annoyed. I feel like the internet tricked me. It ain't happening. You can thump it all you want. You realize right now in the comments, it's nothing but people explaining to us how we did this wrong. You're right. I can see them from here. <laughs> it doesn't matter if we did it wrong. Even if this works, there's no changing the fact that this is a dumb solution, very dangerous for a problem that no one has. Fair enough? Had it been easy, it would have been kind of cool and neat. Had it worked the first time we tried it, then it would be something we could show off at you know, glass parties, whatever, when we go to glass, glass parties. Party. When we're hanging out, we're like, yeah. okay, all I need is some cooking oil and 35 razor blades. Also, do you happen to have a benzene torch? That would yes. be really great. Yes, this exactly. This is a dumb trick. Nobody cares. I know. You're taking it personally. It's okay. I I'm am mad taking too. it back. I'm taking you personally. I'm mad too. I'm out. Don't take it out on me. It was your idea.